Hello and welcome to Citrus K Night Gaming. Citrus here. Today we're having a look at Killing Floor 2. Uh, I played a lot of the original Killing Floor and uh, probably played around the 300 hour mark for this one. Um, a lot of that um, either solo or co op with friends. I haven't played as much with. Um, you know, random online games. Um, Killing Floor 2 is a FPS wave based survival shooter. FPS shooter. Mm, yeah, I said that twice. That's alright. But. Um, so, we've got. These are the perks and these get leveled up by doing damage with the class's weapon and also they have their weapon one and also all have their own unique one so commander weapon damage and then killing stalkers with commander weapons or dealing support weapon damage, welding doors etc etc the cap on all these is 25 you, once they hit 25 you can prestige them which resets them back to zero and you start earning prestige ranks the, every five levels you can unlock one of these skills and these uh, can be changed at any time even in between waves not during a wave but between waves so we will pick SWAT uh, the, here is um, these all selectable um, things like um, Cosmetics, etc. Um, these do drop in game and can be opened from chests and also from event rewards. There is a store here, but I've never purchased anything from that and I wouldn't either. But so we've got um, Vault. You earn this currency just by um, completing daily and weekly challenges like that. You also get items as well from that. So there's plenty of ways you can earn earn items like that. So we'll go into start a solo game. Now there's survival is your standard mode, which is the wave based mode. Weekly is again, it's still wave based, but there's um, modifiers applied. Um, endless is exactly what it says it is, it's endless objective you have little um, objectives to complete each wave before the wave can end so there's infinite enemy until you complete the objectives and then what enemy are left on the map have to be killed so we'll just do a basic survival we'll do it on suicidal and we'll just do four waves so the video is not too long so we've got short medium and long you do on short you do get an increased dosh rate drop um, to help balance out the fact that you, after that many waves you have to fight a boss so let's have a look what so these are all the these are all the maps. Uh, some of these are tripwire maps, and some of them are community maps that have been 
um, added into the game. So what we might do is we might actually do Elysium just because some of the maps have special features in them this is one of them so some of the maps are got each wave has a different zone that you go to so the smaller zones than some of the bigger levels um, in Elysium this changes every wave the map changes every second wave it goes back to the main one and the main one actually modifies to what of the random maps you go to so I'm probably not explain that well but we'll we'll see it a bit better once we um, once we're in there alrighty let's let's do this let's shoot some things alrighty Alrighty, you can get ammo crates and weapons drop in the map, like on these spawn points. Just take down some of these guys. Take out his armor. collect some ammo now after each wave the enemy counters under the wave there so five enemies left for three two and above that we've got a little wayfinder that points to where the trader is on this one, Trader's always in the middle. Some of the other maps, uh, well, most of the other maps, where the Trader spawns is randomized. But here, it's always in the middle. So, we are going to run over, get some ammo. Do have a limited time between waves, so. But we should be fine. Alrighty. So we'll pick up another gun. We well, should be alright for ammo. Ah, who needs armor? Overrated. Alrighty, and we will. I'll grab that ammo over here and then we can skip the wave countdown I uh, could run over and get that ammo but we should be alright we got two guns with ammo alrighty so now we randomly port enemies can spawn from those black holes uh, that slowdown is what they call Z time which is when it triggers as you can see slows down time very uh, short amount of time I walk straight under the spawn point. That was not smart. But that's alright. Yeah, yeah. Out of the way. Oh, just 
Yes. Yes. In solo, um, I definitely have to keep moving. Um, with a good team, you can set up, you know, uh, defensive places and hold them a lot easier. But very hard to do that solo. Make sure everything's loaded. We'll go and buy ourselves another gun. And why not? Why not? And then we're not doing terrible with ammo. So as you can see now, the uh, black holes have been added to. Well, they're not black holes, but the black portals have been added to this map. So this map just keeps getting modified. So by the end of, if you're doing a 10 wave one, this map can be pretty littered with extra, extra contents. So... Okay, we got flesh pound coming in up there. No worries. So with the four difficulty levels, um, not only do the enemies get uh, tougher as well, but you do get um, uh, they get little modifiers added to them in the way they attack and abilities they have and for example we've got so this is suicidal difficulty and uh, those armoured guys there that's a modification of one of those sort of basic guys with armor those po little poison these little poison guys their modifications of these crawlers and they only appear in the higher difficulties So I have, I have gone through and finished everything on suicidal difficulty, but I haven't finished everything on hell on earth on this. Done some of the levels, some of the um, various um, challenges in that, but yeah, definitely haven't finished everything. Some of the levels get quite challenging um, solo on Hell on Earth. Well, for me anyway. I'm definitely no game master. Give me all your heads. Give me all your heads. See ya. Oh, the maps have these little collectibles on them too. No bonus for doing it, it's just a Steam achievement. But. up another we'll pick up a nail gun and can upgrade as well so we're going to throw a level on that and then we might as well auto fill so you can throw upgrade levels in the weapons there you do have a max upgrade make sure everything's loaded pop a heal ammo's full And we're porting to another random map. Where are we going? Break time's over. Get back to work. 
Do, 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 do. This one. Alrighty. Alrighty, we're going to start doing laps around the map. Just keep moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. Alright. Reload. Get rid of some of the scrap. Yeah, I see you. No screaming. No screaming. He was just chilling out. Good on him. Alright, so now we're coming up to the boss wave. So we'll order fill everything. We've got a max weight. Most of the classes, this is maximum 15. The only ones that have more, I believe, are survivalist and support. Um, so they can carry more weapons. So these poison towers have been added in as part of since we did that last level. The bosses that spawn are random. There's a th I can't remember exactly. There's like f maybe five or six different bosses. Oh, this guy's not too bad to fight. Definitely not the worst worst boss. There is some pretty nasty bosses. Um, I'm personally not a fan of the matriarch. Got a nasty plasma type um, cannon which is uh, less than ideal but nice destroyed one of his pieces of armor so knocks him over so we'll throw some Cheap shots under them. Just keep on moving. I said this is not too bad a boss, especially on Elysium, because you have a bit more space here. This is um, definitely not an ideal map for some of the bosses. Um, the ones that have huge range weapons can be quite nasty. Uh, that's fine. He's nearly dead. Boom. Easy as that. It wasn't 
too bad to run. We've got a nice boss at the end. So. Dead. And then after these, you get little summaries, and you can vote for the next map, which uh, we won't be doing. That's the item we get from here, which is an emote crate, which we um, won't be opening. So this does have um, an Armoury Season Pass DLC, which um, adds extra weapons into the game for some of the classes. It, oh, there it is right there, which I have picked that up, um, mainly just played a lot of it and thought, yeah, a few extra weapons, and weapons are hit and miss um, the, um, but yeah so that was a quick look at Killing Floor 2 today um, if you haven't seen it before a little bit of gameplay and yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video and might see you on the next one um, feel free to like and subscribe if you know do the whole YouTuber thing say all that sort of bullshit but um yeah um hopefully see you on the next video and thank you very much for watching lemon out